Welcome back to Cord Cutters Alive, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. If I heard it or said it once, I've heard it and said it a thousand times. The Amazon Fire Sticks just don't come with enough storage to install all your favorite apps. Although the new second generation 4K Max now has 16 gigs of storage, a lot of you either haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, or if you did, you still want more. Well, if you raised your hand, then this video is for you. Whether you have the first or second generation Fire Stick 4K Max, or any Fire TV device running Fire OS version 7 or 8, I will show you how to add USB system storage to make room for all the apps you can throw at it, and how to move your existing apps to the USB storage if you're starting to run out of space. On a side note, if you still have one of the old Fire Sticks with Fire OS version 6, do yourself a favor and throw it out and get a new model. You will be happy you did. I have a lot to show you, so if you're ready to see how you can multiply your system storage on your Amazon Fire Stick, grab your remotes and let's go. Before we get started, just a quick note to show you a couple of things that you're going to need to get. I'm assuming you've already got your Fire Stick. What you need now is the OTG cable. This is a cable that plugs into where your power normally plugs into the Fire Stick, but it has a connection for a USB drive that you need to get, a USB thumb drive. I'll put a link in the description for both of these things. And then it also has this other Y connection here that you can plug the power cable into. So that's how you would connect this uh, to get the USB storage installed so you can add apps to your Fire Stick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on the 4K Max second generation. But as I said earlier, this will work on all of the Fire OS 7 or 8 devices. The easy to follow steps I'm going to show you in today's video will not work on the older 4K Fire Stick with the Fire OS version 6. Adding system storage to those older devices just isn't worth the hassle, trust me. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I do want to make sure that my Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max second generation is up to date. First, we can go into about, and you can see that, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the 4K Max second gen. And if you go down to check for updates, you can do that. And it does say that my Fire TV is up to date. So now let's go back to the home button. We're assuming now that you've already connected the uh, Fire Stick with the OTG cable. Now we can take our, our USB drive and just plug it right into the port on the OTG cable and watch what happens. It'll come up with this message that says your USB device is using an unsupported file system. And so what you want to do here, if we want to add uh, device storage for installing apps on, we have to go over to where it says device storage and click on that. Are you sure? Say yes. So this will take some time uh, to format, but when it gets done, it'll let you know. 12 seconds later. All right, so it says formatting complete. Your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use this USB drive to transfer data to Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. Click OK. And now if we go over to the gear again and go down to My Fire TV and you go to USB drive, it'll tell you now that you have 59 and change gigabytes available out of 59 and change. Again, this is a 64 gig SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 drive. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get this exact one that I'm using here in this demonstration. So now that that's done, you can go ahead and click the home button. Okay, so now that we have the USB installed for device storage, which means we can install apps on it, we need to have the Explore File Explorer app. That is available in the Amazon App Store. You can search for it by name, you can just type in Explore, or you can use the voice button, but you'll see it show up here. So you can get it there, or you can get it at the Cord Cutters LI Downloads page, which is the downloader shortcut code 61187, but just as easy to get from the Amazon App Store. So I'll assume that you've installed Explore. Let's open it up for the first time. First time you do, you're going to get a message that says that it needs to access photos, media, and files on your device. Of course, that is required to do this, so click Allow. What we're going to do here, on the right side of the screen, we're going to go to where it says Internal Storage, and we're going to just select the Downloader folder. We're not going to do anything in there. 
quite yet. Now let's move over to the left side of the screen and go into where it says App Manager and then Installed. This is going to show you all of the installed applications that you have on the Fire Stick. Here I'm going to show you how to move, for example, the Magellan TV app, um, a new app that I just installed recently. And so long press the select button and you'll see it'll say copy. Click on that. Now, this is the only time you're going to want to check this box where it says move mode. So what this is going to do is going to uninstall Magellan TV from the Fire Stick and it's going to move it to that downloader folder uh, that we have selected on the right side of the screen. So go ahead and click OK on that. It's going to prompt you that to make sure that you want to uninstall this app and you say OK. So that's it. So now Magellan is no longer on the Fire Stick. But as you can see, it's over here on the right side of the screen in that downloader folder. So now let's go ahead and click on that and install. So just by having this USB drive installed and set up for system storage, all apps that can be installed on that USB will be installed on that USB. Some can't, some do. It's a bit of trial and error, but let's see if this Magellan TV does what I think it's going to do. So click Done after the app is installed. And now you can actually go down to where it says Magellan TV in the downloader folder, and you can remove it from there. So long press that, and then press Delete, because we no longer need that installation file on the device. And click OK. So now let's go to the Home button and... If you go over to the Apps button, you will see at the bottom of the list, we have Magellan TV there. Let's quickly open it up and see if it runs. Sure enough, it does. Click the Home button one more time. I want to show you one more thing to verify that it is and hopefully installed in the right spot. So we go over to the gear and move down to Applications, go into Manage Installed Applications, now, if you scroll down to Magellan TV, you will see this little USB symbol there that shows you that it is installed on the USB uh, drive. We can back up a step. And for ver further verification, we go into My Fire TV, go into USB drive. And now, as you can see, it has a little bit less than that 59.32 gigabytes available. Now it's that, that difference between those two numbers is the size of that Magellan app. And that's all there is to it. So once again, I do want to be clear, some apps can be installed on system storage on the USB, some can't. So it is a matter of you know trial and error. I should also say that some apps you don't want to install on here. So for example, like the Kodi uh, Media Player or IP Vanish, some of those very high system resource dependent apps, you don't really want to install on the USB storage. It'll slow it down and could give you some issues. So for some of the high processor intensive um, applications, you may want to keep that on the internal system storage and not the USB. Now you might ask me how you do that. Well, after you've installed this external storage, as I said earlier, all apps that can be installed on that external USB storage will be. So in the future, if you want to install an app on the internal uh, device storage, not the USB, you will want to shut down the device, temporarily disconnect the USB drive, power it back up, install that app. It'll install on the internal system storage. And then you can shut it down again, plug the USB back in, and there you go you'll be back where you were. Now, there is one thing I wanted to point out just in case it wasn't really clear. The procedure that we just did was we basically uninstalled the app and all of its data from its existing place on the internal system storage, and we reinstalled that app on the USB system storage. Therefore, any data, any add-ons, any extensions, anything like that will be gone, and you'll have to redo that. There is no easy way to move an app from place to place and keep all of that data intact. I know that was a lot. So if you managed to stick with me until this point, congratulations. Hopefully you've been successful. 
If you had any questions that you came across or issues, please put some comments down below. I you know, usually try to answer those as quickly as I can. So with all that being said, if you learned anything today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Alive videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.